I didn't start playing basketball until late. I was in high school already, so I didn't know which number to get. So I just got the number my brother had. <laughs> he was already playing in high school, so he was 32. So I was like, yeah, I'll be 32. And later on, I found out why he was 32, is because his favorite player was Magic. So I guess I got it because of Magic, like secondhand. <laughs> My freshman year when I was in college, we didn't even make the NCAA tournament. And so um, going to the Final Four and just basically um, being a part of making Purdue one of the top women's basketball programs in the country and just having something to do with that is a big, big deal for me. I'm kind of a tomboy kind of thing, but I don't really like to get dirty. So I like to go like batting cages. I like, I'm not very good at it, but I like to do different sports like playing tennis and pool and things like that. Me and my husband go bowling a lot, but I'm not really good at anything but basketball. I want to be Charles Barkley. Let's just cut to the chase. I want to be Charles Barkley on TNT, sitting next to Kenny and Ernie. That's my dream job, just to be able to come to work and say whatever I want to say. The biggest influence on me was probably my mom. My mom was a single parent. My dad died when I was two years old and my brother was five. My mom was like 26 at the time. So she just basically took it upon herself and just raised us. There wasn't professional women's basketball when I was growing up. And it was something I never imagined that I would be doing because you can't put a face with it. And you know, I have a daughter and just for her to have the opportunity, even if she doesn't want to take it, just the option to possibly play basketball as a career, as a you know, way of making a living, it's big, it's huge.